Hey Frank, how you doing? This is Doug. Uh, just got your email here and we're going to do a little video just on the note spacing. So as you can see, I'm about to open up your score here so we can go through it. Um, I've already had a look at it, but we'll just start from scratch. I'll go ahead and select and OK. And we'll open up and let's go to the first page that we talked about and zoom in. And this is what you're describing and it's a common thing that happens in Sibelius where what's going on is that we have the the arpeggios in the viola and that is space that is widened this first um, two beats of the bar and since we don't have those here um, this is much shorter so now how can we um, do that well there, you're going to have to do a little bit of manual adjusting of the notes, meaning that you'll actually have to select them. Um, there's a couple of things you can do just globally. Let me start with the global and uh, then I'll go into the local of how to just, uh, you know, just adjust these notes specifically because uh, what I mean by global is, is that it'll affect the entire score, how you can do a command that will affect the entire score. Well, to, um, what I use to adjust the note spacing for the entire score is here under House Style and down under Note Spacing Rule, I select that. And this will have my distances of all uh, the notes that I want to have spaced. Now, Sibelius already has um, an algorithm that they've, they've put into the software to try and get the, you know, the note spacing as... Uh, uh, as, as good as possible and I should mention that you know it is okay to have discrepancies between the spacing of each note you don't need to have each note um, exactly the same space but a couple of things that are useful so this is the um, for example the minimum space oftentimes I do find that this is set too narrowly so in this case what I can do is just go between after the start of the bar I'll add in a little bit more space in the note um, for accidentals, that's always one that I find I use. And let's see, that's that's a good one. And additionally, uh, around the ledger lines, let's just use those two, maybe around note hits. Let's add, add some space there. I'll select OK. And then I can, again, I can either highlight the entire score or I can just do, let me, demonstrate just on this one passage and if I select shift command and in we'll see the notes have all, all moved now to that default spacing uh, and again what uh, let me undo this but again we could do this for the entire score and in that one click the entire score will have our default spacing now what's going on here is we're probably gonna have to create uh, oh, actually, let me just undo that. So that way everything goes back to the way it was for you. Um, we're probably going to have to create some more space because uh, the reason being is my first approach is I would widen these two beats. Uh, uh, let me just highlight what I'm talking about. Uh, I would widen these two beats to try and... Um, become more similar to, to the, the previous. A couple things we can do. Um, firstly is we may, if I zoom out, we may need to create a little bit of more space from this indent. So let me just, I'm just kind of going on the fly here. So let me just try and cheat this a little bit. And additionally, well, we can, you know, you we could look at we might want to change the width on the document setup. I'm a big fan of doing this. I I cheat with that a lot. Um, and the reason being is, well, uh, I find that that one inch is still plenty of space. But wait, here's what you can do. Already, I think that looks a little bit better. Uh, is if you highlight the area that you want to space out, if you select Shift, Alt, or, or perhaps it's option on, on your keyboard, but shift op, op, alt, sorry, and then the left or right arrow, you can see that the, the notes are getting spaced out. And so I might just, let's just, I'm just kind of winging it. Let's try that. 
and then I'll want to do the same thing I think here create a little bit more space so I'm gonna hold down shift alt and then in this case I'm holding down the right arrow and let's see if that looks a little bit better I think that looks a little bit better um, I would say so um, and let's see what else could we do um, there's a couple of other options we can do um, you can also under uh, properties you can move any of the settings so let's just say I wanted um, I don't know let's just say I wanted this to be a little bit to or all of this a little bit closer I'm, I'll just pick one hypothetically here under the X is the horizontal um, I'm in the properties window which is under windows and properties um, X is going to be the horizontal and I think from memory negative is going to move it to the left and positive is going to move it to the right so in this case I want to go to the left so I'll type in negative let's go three and yeah everything moves so then I'll type in here negative two that's too much negative one and that will move everything a little bit closer um, and you can do this for individual notes so for example uh, I spotted aha here's the bar that, it, that we could possibly do this on. Well, in this case, actually, you know, it may just be the classic click and drag. You know, that's actually probably gonna be the, the best way to do that, but um, you could similarly do the same thing by just, if you wanted to just move this one note, I can, without having moving any of the other notes, you can use the properties window, and as you can see, I can just enter in the note number, and that will, um, move the note spacing. So that's probably going to be the quickest and surest way to move the notes. Um, I think that's going to be the best shot. So I'm just trying to think here what else you could do. Now one question I would have is it looks like well it's a viol part so it doesn't really matter I was gonna say whether or not the, the arpeggio continues here because then you go back to the notation but uh, again I, that's you will know what to do because you wrote it um, and what else could we do um, you know we may I don't know you can always like I say use that same the same device if you wanted to create a little bit more space anywhere just a shift alt and right left I think that's gonna be your best bet so hope that's of help let me know if that looks um, okay to you otherwise like I say you're you are gonna have to be I think squashing in other notes or just using um, the you know uh, what, what we what I showed you over here which is you know to to move it left or right but then what can happen is things it, it won't be uh, al aligned with each other so those are the trade-offs okay hope this was of help if there's any other questions please don't hesitate to um, fire away talk to you soon bye